In a letter to Office of Congressional Ethics Chairman Mike Barnes, the group charged that Congressman San Nicolas made securities transactions in 2019 and 2020 worth between $15,000 and $52,370 without filing periodic reports within 45 days as required by the Stock Act. They said an investigation is necessary to determine if his failure to file was knowing and willful. The letter goes on to state that if members are not held accountable for late filing, many may simply wait until their annual financial disclosures to reveal stock trades and pay nominal late fees, thereby circumventing the law. It's a law meant to ensure transparency and to prevent congressional members from illegally profiting off of advanced information. The allegations were first reported by National Public Radio, which identified the seven House members, five of whom, including San Nicolas, are members of the powerful House Financial Services Committee. The Campaign Legal Center alleges that San Nicolas engaged in the stock sales after he was elected vice chairman of the committee. It further alleges that he may have knowingly violated the law because at the time there were widely publicized reports of high-profile insider trading allegations against several U.S. senators. We reached out to Congressman San Nicholas, who said he did disclose the exact trades that are referenced and that he is also consulting with legal counsel on the matter. The CLC concludes its letter stating that it believes Delegate San Nicholas was aware of the requirements and his failure to timely file the transaction reports violates the Stock Act. It asks the Ethics Office to open a preliminary review to determine if it was both an intentional violation of the law and of House rules. A statute provides for a fine of up to $250,000 and five years imprisonment for knowingly and willfully making any materially false, fictitious, or fraudulent statements. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto.